Hello everyone, welcome to Space Station Tycoon. This is a game I picked up on Steam during the winter sale of 2020, 2021. And I thought I would just show you what this game is like, what it's all about. So we're just going to go ahead and do a new game. We'll start with easy. We don't have Nightmare Unlocked yet, I haven't gotten that far. So we'll just start easy. Name your station up top here. YouTube Space City. You can do your starting money. I just leave it as default. Competitors, natural disasters, tour. We'll leave that on just to kind of show you what it looks like. Down there, you can pick your logo. Do a nice bird one. There's a few, there's not a whole lot, but there's a few. This is an early access game, too, by the way. So just a heads up, it's not perfect yet, but it's. It's kind of fun, so you can change your colors a bit. I don't really know what's going to be good. Maybe that'll work. I kind of like that. There we go. So, we'll go ahead and just start it up. So, like I said, this is early access, so it's still a, a work in progress here, but... All right, so this is what you start with, is just this. So if you hold left click on your mouse, that lets you move up and down, spin around. So yeah, that's right click. Left click will actually move the position. So if you want in the center, there you go. Right click lets you kind of adjust. So here's your speeds right here. And this is where the tutorial is for starting out here. We also have an email up top here. Um, your old pal Hector here is telling you about how you're starting up a thing and I won't go too much into the emails but kind of fun little backstory I guess so first thing to do is to open the build menu with either tab or a little hammer up top here and as you can see there's four little green arrows one on each side go ahead and pick one just click yes and there we go so this is what you actually will when you use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out by scrolling. So this is what we start with right here. And it wants us to build two docking bays. So down here where it says docking, we'll go ahead and build a couple of those. And then for the first bit, the tutorials will pop up and it kind of goes over what each step is. So in this case, this is telling you that docking stations let ships dock. Next thing, we'll go on the power tab right there and go to solar panel. And we'll build some power. So it's just saying solar panels are cheap, easy way to get power. Um, up on the top right, electricity right there. So that shows you where the power level is at. We're at 30 out of 30, so we're kind of maxed out. Right there is your money. That's security, visitors, and research. Those will come along later. So now we got to close out of this, click here, and this is the screen for this particular docking bay. So we need to have an employee there, so we'll just click change. We don't have anybody hired yet, so we'll just go to recruit. And it's going to cost us 700 space bucks, sure. And then the green is the positives they do, like this guy, adult appeal 5%. Red is negative, adult feel minus six. So we'll go, and then this is the credits per month that they'll charge. So we'll go ahead and hire two. Get the first guy going. Click on this one. See, now we have somebody, so we can move them over. So this is saying most buildings won't operate without staff. Um, and then there's their happiness, how much they cost. You can train them. I haven't done a whole lot with that yet, so. Maybe as we go on. Now it's telling us to change our speed to fast. And we gotta earn 2,500 space bucks. So these are what these little ships are doing. And if you saw there, it says docking fee and fuel price. So they pay to park. And then they'll also buy fuel from you. So they're kind of just sit down there. And then when they're done, see the little, it goes by kind of quick. 
by a little green dollar sign comes above their head and says, Hey, you made, you know, some space bucks. Way to go. You did it. You can actually click on the ships, like this one. Emily Brown's a mercenary, 54 years old, 100% ship health. Great prices, she'd come back. So that's kind of how you tell what people are thinking. So now we gotta select the docking bay, go over to the upgrades tab, and upgrade landing assist. I'm gonna go ahead and say don't show this again. And yes, we do want to upgrade. So now it's saying that people will pay more to buy fuel and park here. So this is saying to set the fuel price to 12. Good job, we did it. Um, over here we'll say people think the price is too high or too low. So that's a good spot to keep an eye out for as you're kind of changing stuff. So now it wants us to open the finance tab, which is a little cent sign here. And this is just showing how well your station's doing. We're doing pretty good so far. There's our profit, there's our upkeep or our, our costs. There's other stuff there too. And then this graph is showing the balance. This graph is showing the profit. See, we spent a lot of money on construction here. That's why that's so low. And then there's our profit and stuff for the month. Now it wants to open the overview tab, which is a little clock one here. And it's the same thing. If you get attacked by pirates or something, you can repair here. Um, this is what people are thinking, so everyone thinks this is a great place to be. We're getting a lot of thoughts about people saying there's no place to land, so that means maybe we should start putting in more landing pads. And then the security people are kind of iffy on. Which is our next task. We have to build a defense turret, so we'll go ahead and go back to the build menu. Add another row. Go to defenses, put down a turret. And this, like I said, defends against pirates. Now it doesn't have power, so we'll expand it one more time for 1500 bucks. Let's put another solar panel up. Now we're at 60 out of 60. And then once you close out, then it will go again. So one thing we can do, I don't think it mentions this in the tutorial, but see the pan better panel upgrade? Watch the power up top there, we're at 60 out of 60. Now we're at 65, 70, 75, 80, 85. So it gets expensive, but for starting out, we got 110 power. And then this, the AI, reduces the upkeep cost. Right now we're spending 112 a month, right at the bottom there. 105, 98, 90, 82, 75. So, like I said, it does get spendy, but since this is early on, maybe those savings will add up pretty quick here. It wants us to build some more buildings, so since we got power, I'm going to put in some docks. Security falls below 50% of it icon will pop up next to the security status. And if we get scanned by the police, we get in trouble. So, we'll go ahead get out of here I'm going to set that back to 12 like it was with the upgrade and then this will just help us get some more money so I believe that as long as you don't put this person in a power plant which we unlock later on um, the negative shouldn't really affect it oh and now we're getting an asteroid you zoom out here oh there they are so the main part will be shielded from stuff like this, but the stuff on the outer part here, the stuff that you build, that could potentially get damaged or destroyed. So, and if you can, try to hire a few people at once. These aren't very good, so we'll leave those, because it is 700 bucks every time you gotta refresh that screen. So the less often you have to do it, the better, but sometimes you don't get good people so it's just like all right we're gonna skip that for now we do it so we want to make an AI upgrade which will lower the cost now we gotta buy something from a trade ship so every once in a while 
We'll see if one pops up here. It's gonna have I've probably seen one before earlier. But it's gonna have a little uh trade thing above it. So while we wait for that, maybe if you click, let's maybe get some of these upgraded. So it's really important to watch your money here. Especially this early on, because we don't have a whole lot. So fuel pump upgrade decreases fuel duration. So this gets them out. This turns them faster, basically, a quicker turn. So when they come in. You get them out faster, which means someone else can come in after them. Which will get you more money, so. Now see what I was talking about earlier? Customers think docking fee of docking bay one is too cheap. This is docking bay one. And we upgraded. So I'm gonna I did some experimenting before. I think 110 is a good docking fee with 25 fuel. And then there's our trade. Kind of just in time. If you select them like this and keep the buy screen up, they won't see, and that's like a black market trader, that's like a smuggler. Um, we're going to need a lot of iron, so you can either do that one at a time, or just type in, we'll say 27, which we actually can't afford, but... Which docking pay? Okay. Making sure he wasn't clogging up the uh, one that pays us the most, so... Maybe we'll just buy 10 to start till we get more money. And now we received a blueprint for a reactor, right? Or no? Particle reactor, yep, so click OK. We'll just close that for now. If you go to your inventory, which is kind of the three little things right there, this is the particle reactor, which is just a new power plant. So if we click on this, we need four more screws and three circuitry. So for that, we just gotta wait for ships to come in and land and offer some trade. So while we wait, yeah, and watching the money really close, because th this is what gets me early on. Like, once you've played a little while, you're usually a little bit better off. But early on, it's very easy to spend too much at once. And then... You go bankrupt, and it kind of... It's like, oh, that sucks. So these two should be... And then right here, it'll say profit this month, 2000 Profit last month, 1900 so see how it ticks down every kind of, I don't know what the ticks are, but. And then see, she's 287 a month. It might be like, you know, every tick, it takes, and then see this reset already for this month. There we go, 240, 230. So it ticks down, it's not all at once, it kind of is gradual. That's already upgraded. Great prices, so if you were, not great prices if you're ripping people off or charging too little they might think something about that oops okay here we go so we got a pirate attack so we can either bribe them or we're gonna try to fight them off we'll see what happens here i'm gonna change this quick while we got it going and then close that out so you'll be able to see i only have one turret so hopefully they're not too hardcore where are they coming from? Okay, they're behind. That kind of sucks. And my turret is doing a terrible job. That sucks. So we didn't even blow up a ship. But they, they did some damage to us, which is really bad. Hopefully that wasn't the pad we just upgraded. I think it was. All right. So we'll see. I'm, I gotta be really careful with that. I'm gonna upgrade this just to get money in. Here's a pirate. Well, not a pirate, but he's a smuggler. We're gonna ignore that for now because we're pretty rough shape here so we're gonna here's an email about it too this is kind of like the tutorial guy saying hey sorry about your pirate attack i didn't even know they were here so as we get higher security they should start going away so if you go to overview and then repair all modules 2009 
or sorry, 2039. We can afford that, so we'll just go to yes. But we do lose money for the docking pad and all the upgrades we had to it. And our person here, I think, just dies, basically. Which is kind of sad, but... And see, now we got to pay that fee again. Um, yeah, we'll go with this one. It's not too bad. And then uh, we're really low on cash. I don't want to go too crazy here. Maybe we'll do the cheaper ones first. I'm just watching this top right corner here, just keeping an eye on the on the money. All right, so we'll go back to 110 for the docking fee, 25 for the fuel price, and we're back in business. So now we just got to keep an eye. I see it's saying it was too cheap because I hadn't quite updated it yet before somebody landed on me. So now we just got to wait for a trade ship again, and we'll be good to go. Now I think we'll call it a day here, but before we do, if you hit escape, you got to be really careful with this. This has really screwed me over a few times. Um, We'll just call this YouTube for now. We'll hit save. And we got it. So, just out of instinct, when I want to load a game, I hit that, which is actually delete. So, you want to select it over here. See how it's highlighted green now? And then just click save. And then it overwrites it, and you're good to go. Same thing when you load a game. Just, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but my instinct wants to click that delete button, which is bad. That'll delete your game. So highlight it, and then just click load, and you'll be good to go. Another thing, again, this is early access, so this may change, is there is no auto save. So if you quit to menu or desktop, and you don't save it first, it'll say like, hey, do you actually want to quit? Or I guess not. Maybe because we just saved it. Maybe just a desktop ask you to save it. I don't know. But it may or may not ask you if, if you're sure you want to exit. But if you don't save before you do that, you lose all the work you've just done. So be very cautious when you're saving and loading and exiting the game that you don't shoot yourself in the foot. Like I have several times and it's it's kind of frustrating, but... Hopefully more safeguards or something come up with that and can make it a little bit better here. So I think we'll call it a day here. I just want to say thank you all for watching. I do hope that you all enjoyed. If you do, did enjoy, you liked it, make sure you like the video and subscribe and all that. And yeah, hopefully I will see you all next time.